Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, I will be presenting and explaining about decision trick. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Nur Shafiqah binti Hamsin. ID student 2021485388 and I am from IM2454 ST2. Uh, decision tree is a popular and intuitive machine learning algorithm used for both classification and registration tasks in modern decision or prediction based on a series of questions or conditions about the input features. Think of a decision tree as a flowchart like structure where each internet node represents a question or a condition based on a feature. Each branch represents the possible outcomes of the question and each leaf node represents a final prediction or decision. But first, let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages of decision trees. There are several advantages of decision tree. Firstly, the cost of using the tree to predict data decreases with each additional data point. Second, works for either categorical or numerical data. Third, can model problem with multiple outputs. Next, uses a white box model making the result easy to explain. And others, a tree's reliability can be tested and qualified and lastly, tend to be accurate regardless of whether it violates the exception of sources data. But there are also a few disadvantages which is when dealing with the categorical data with multiplies level, the information gain is biased in favour of the attributes with the most level. Next, calculations can become complex when dealing with the outcomes and lots of linked outcomes. Lastly, conjunction between nodes are limited to n, whereas decision graphs allow for nodes linked by r. Before we go deeper in this topic, let us understand what are the meaning of each shapes. The first shape is namely decision node, indicate a decision to be made. The second one is change node shows multiply uncertain outcomes. Next is alternative branches, which meaning each branch indicates a possible outcomes or action, while this shape meaning is show a choice that was not selected and namely rejected alternative. And the last one is endpoint node, which indicate a final outcome. How to draw a decision tree? To draw a decision tree, first pick a medium. You can draw it by hand on paper or a whiteboard, or you can use special decision tree software. Firstly, start with the main decision, draw a small box to represent this point, then draw a line from the box to the right for each possible solution or action. Label them accordingly. Secondly, it chance and decision node to expand the tree as follows. If another, if another decision is unnecessary, draw another box. If the outcome is uncertain, draw a circle. Circle represents charge nodes. If the problem is solved, let's it plan for now. From each decision node, draw possible solution. From each chance node, draw a line representing possible outcomes. If you intend to analyze your option numerically, include the probability for each outcome and the cost of each action. Third, continue to expand until every line reaches an end point, meaning that there are no more choices to be made and chance outcome to consider. Then assign a value to each possible outcome. It could be an abstract score or a finance value. A triangle to signify in points. With a complete decision tree, you are now ready to begin analyzing the decision you face. In conclusion, decision trees are like flowcharts that help us make prediction. They ask questions about different things and use our answer to decide the outcomes. Decision tree are easy to understand and can work with different kinds of information. However, we need to be careful because they can sometimes give us to specific answers and may not work well with new data. Overall, decision tree are useful tools for making prediction in a clear and organized way. That's all from me. Thank you for watching.